How's it going guys? This is John McLennan here with GuitarControl.com excited to bring you this lesson. In our previous lesson we discussed something called the hexatonic scale and I showed you how to take a major scale you remove the fourth step and you get G major hexatonic and so now what I'm going to show you is a lick that utilizes that sound. So again, I'm not necessarily thinking of it as a scale, but more of a sound that I can dial up. So here's some vocabulary, some licks for you to practice that uh, are going to drive the idea home. So again, click the link below for the tab, and let's, let's jump in here. So we start on the second fret. This is coming off the G. So we're starting right on the major seventh. We're going to play... So that's... slide into the seventh, you know, the, the seventh note of the scale, but, uh, or the seventh of the chord, rather, <laughs> but I'm starting on the third fret, sliding to the fourth, and then fifth fret, second fret, so here it is again slowly. variation, mainly eighth notes though. Or you could, you know, just pluck it without the without the pull off there. And then play your G major seven chord. Again, three, four, four, three for that chord. Sometimes I'll even play this chord and get a cross bar here diagonally and grab that note on the second fret. So again, I'm attaching the chord to the lick. You know, so if I'm vamping this chord, so click the link below for the tab, and we'll see you in the next lesson, in the next position for the hexatonic.